If you've ever spent a summer afternoon having fun in the sun, you probably know that one of the only things that's guaranteed to harsh your vibe is getting a gnarly sunburn. But what causes sunburns in the first place? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. The pain of a sunburn is unmistakable. Your skin becomes hot to the touch, feels like it's burning, turns red, and can even blister. It makes sleeping a nightmare. And if it's bad enough, it can even make it hard to move. But what's actually happening when you get a sunburn and what causes all that pain? Well, whenever your skin is in the sun for too long, it reacts by protecting itself from the harmful ultraviolet rays. As your skin begins to burn, your body jumps into action, probably before you even feel any pain. It starts by flooding the affected area with blood to help start the healing. This is part of what causes that lobster red look of someone with a mean sunburn. If the sunburn is severe, there might be swelling too, or even blisters if it's really bad. While painful, all of these processes are actually just your body trying to heal your skin. A few days later, a layer of dead skin cells will start peeling off the burned area. This is your body's way of killing off any cells that might have been mutated by the sun's harmful rays. All that peeling skin is just another defense mechanism to keep you safe. But you can't always catch every single mutated cell and that's why it's super important to be careful in the sun and make sure you take the right precautions. Use plenty of sunscreen if you're planning to be in the sun and make sure to reapply throughout the day. Using basic sun blockers like t-shirts and hats help too. So this summer, go outside and play all day. Just make sure you're prepared to beat back the sunshine. And now you know why we get sunburns. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And remember to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.